Hello there. Today I'll be showing you how to upload your own Minecraft world to your Virtual Gladiator server. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm playing on a world I just created in single player Minecraft. Once you found the world of your choice, exit out of Minecraft and go on to virtualgladiators.com. First off, you'll need to log into your Multicraft control panel. If you don't know how to log into your Multicraft panel, click the image you see on the screen to learn how to do so. Now that you're in the control panel, look at the world tab. Make sure that it's blank and nothing is written in it. Now, in the left side margin, click on the Files folder, followed by the Backup tab. Now that you're here, notice that this window supplies you a host, port, user, and password. This is all going to be used to connect your own computer to the server itself. But in order to do that, you're going to need a program called FileZilla. Be sure to note whether you have a 32-bit or 64-bit computer and download accordingly so the program will work. Now once you have the program fully downloaded and installed, open it up. Once you're here, in the top margin of the program window, you can now enter in your server information from the Backup tab. Once entered, click Quick Connect and you should then be connected to your server. Now locate the World folder on the top right window and click Delete. The reason we're doing this is because the world of your choice is going to replace this. Now once you do that, on the left side of the screen locate the world folder you're going to be using for your server. It's recommended that you copy the world folder to your desktop for easy transportation. Now once you locate it, drag it to where the old folder once was. Now just like that, you're all set. Now go back to your Multicraft control panel and once again look at the world tab. This time you're going to change the name to the name of your world folder you uploaded to the server. Now in this video my world folder was titled Tutorial World. Once you change the world name, click the save button beneath followed by the restart button at the top of the window. Now you're all done. As you can see I'm playing on my world I just created at the beginning of the tutorial. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns you could contact us through our live chat feature on our website or you could just send us in a support ticket as well. Thank you for watching and happy playing.